Well, you know what, man? I just got to tell you, that's a really nice grill you got there. That's a really nice grill you got there, man. It's nice, right? It's really nice. 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 Check out this part right here. Let me just open it up. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Then I'll close it. Oh, there it goes. And I'll bring it back. Yeah, up. here it is again. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really, really nice. nice. It's really it nice. It is really nice. Watch this right here. Here. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Holy cow. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It really is. It really is beautiful. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah, man. Pretty serious? Yeah, of course. Will you grill me on this grill? Wow. Is that crazy? No. Hmm? Is that crazy? You know, you know, well, you know, I, well, you know, I wouldn't even be one to say, really. You know, who am I to... I hate living. I hate my family. But I love grilling. I don't see any other option. Well, that sounds like a really tough situation, man. And I just want you to know that it has to I'm be done. For you. It has to be done. It has to be done. It has to be done. All right? It has to be done, okay? Let's do it. You know, is it even big enough? What? What the fuck does that mean? You don't think this grill is big enough to grill me? This grill can grill anything. It's you. You. You don't have the balls to grill me. You don't have the balls to close the lid. It's you. Well, it's not your choice anymore. Because I'm getting grilled today. And when I'm crispy and done, you better empty the grease tray, or my soul will haunt this grill for eternity. I'm going in. Twenty fifth, twenty twenty, and welcome to the Approachly Podcast Experience. And that is a nice grill. It's a beautiful thing, ain't it? Ah <laughs> oh, man, Chris Delia. I uh. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing my ass off, man. Just uh, 
His future was so bright, he couldn't see this coming, man. That's how bright his future was. And, uh, you know, now we're at this point. And um, I don't know whether to say I told you so or, you know, um, or what. But, you know, I definitely did not see this coming. You know, but I kind of did see it coming. You know, it's hard because I, I wanted to be a fan of him. But there's certain people, you know, that I just like, I start, I start watching their content, you know, like they, they hook me, you know, and that's the hardest thing, you know, is to hook someone uh, to watch your content. So um, once you're hooked, you know, you, you get familiar with someone and you want to hear more and more of their content. And, uh, you know, some people have done that to me and I've gone into their I've gone into their content and it was not necessarily something I, um, you know, well, no, I'm, I'm kind of getting sidetracked there. So, um, you know, I've, I've gone to them, you know, I've tried, you know, they hooked me, someone re I liked referred me to them and there's just something about them, you know, something off, like something not right is going on behind the scenes you know and i'm a level 1500 uh, video editor myself when i want to be and i know the power of editing you know it's 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 uh you can be a magician if you have the uh, skills the capacity the willpower you know you can make some amazing things happen you know that uh Elections have been won on great video editing. You know, uh, it's uh, it's crazy to think uh, how something that goes so unrecognized has so much effect on on uh, on the outcome of the product. Because I know a lot of people don't appreciate the art of editing. You know, and, and I that might be my best art. You know, that I consider. You know. Uh, editing it's uh, it's fun you know it's something I enjoy doing but I don't always have the energy to do you know sometimes I'm on the right mindset and I simply don't want to edit you know or I don't want to edit in on that mindset it's not necessarily the editing part because uh, editing you know it's a process you know um, you got to watch content over and over again that you might not necessarily enjoy or you might cringe. You know, that's why I, I kind of wish I had a like-minded editor friend who could edit my content for me. Um, or at least review the content beforehand so that I can make the final selections. Um, but, and I'm sure that's what, you know, bigger edit, uh, editors and YouTubers do. And that might happen at some point, but for now, you know, just uh, you just you just got to be small, you know, just like uh, just like a rapper, you know, a good rapper produces an album, they release an album, they put it out. It's a great album. It's a great song. It's a great single, and you know, it's uh, edited. It's it's uh, it's set up. It's a facade, you know, it's a, it's a smoke and mirrors. It's set up in a way where you think that uh, it's maybe a one or two person effort making this great album, making this amazing, uh, inspiring, you know, you, you think this uh, amazing rapper that has millions of uh, dollars behind them, you know, he has... Uh, he has uh, this force behind him. You think they're gonna be, you know, willing to put out mediocre stuff? You know, if they, you know, and at that point when you have that much money, you might not even have your heart and soul in it, you know, at the, anymore. You know, so how do you think they they do it? You know, they might have a team of 20 people. You know. Five ghostwriters, twelve producers, 
three um, producers. Oh my god, there's almost an next one. Hey, get some water. Oh, what's going on? Someone ran a red light. Oh man, that's good. Nice, refreshing. Great value, purified drinking water. It's the best. Uh, what was I talking about? Who cares? Chris Delia, though. <laughs> Still kind of funny and mind boggling. Thinking, uh, you know, I lost what I was what I was talking about because I started getting like hungry. Like it's uh, I'm on a late start right now, and I just didn't want to go to work. I kind of got pushed into going to work, and you know, just like you know, I was talking to one of the the Lombards in my on my team and one of them that particularly has two sides to their face right and um, what was he saying so he was saying some so he was like so he was on call on Sunday you know so instead of uh, Instead of being on call at home, you know, he decided to drive into work and work a full shift, you know, eight hours um, in the office, you know, so <laughs> so he slipped it out, you know, he's telling, letting me know, you know, that he was on call, you know, because I, I, I'm not going to lie, so I was bitching and complaining because I was on call on Saturday and, uh, Oh man, I'm just so annoyed of that place, dude. I uh, I need a change in my life. I need to get fired. I need some sort of rejuvenation, you know. Cause, and I don't see it happening anytime soon. Um, you know. Um, but what I'm getting at is, oh, what was I saying, dude? I'm so forgetful right now. I keep seeing like taco stands and stuff. And I'm like, man, I'm so hungry. What is this place? Yummies. Damn, dude, I kind of want to go eat there. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, so I was on call on Saturday. And um, I got called in, you know, because a uh, person muted their microphone, you know, and I got called on call IT, right? Because they didn't know how to, first of all, the uh, production specialists, you know, they didn't know how to uh, unmute it, you know. And, and that's fine, you know, you're making the company my, money, we understand. Uh, but level one IT, come on, bro. How are you in, the, how have you worked in this company for so long and survived with uh, just the lack of competency, you know. Like, it just boggles me that you get by by you know so much nepotism for so many years you know and uh jeez louise man like when is it gonna stop fire these incompetent people you know like there's all these societal you know there's there is there's all these unfair injustices in this society because of these you know, like, um, I don't know. I, I could get into it for so long, and I and I think it's getting me side, sidetracked from what I was getting at. But, you know, uh, simply put, you know, if, if you're not good enough for the job, you should be replaced just because you know someone, just because you're a particular race, just because you're a particular religion, doesn't give you the right to have a job over someone of uh, different color, different race, different yada yada, you know, there's a lot of nepotism and that's just human nature, but you know, there needs to be a change in society, a new structure, a new way of looking at things, a new culture that, you know, uh, makes things better is just what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyways, I got called on Saturday, oh, what's going on here? There's a, a wrecking? 
Oh man, I should have brought my. Uh, I do have my camera, but I don't want to remove. It's out of battery. They just tore down a church and a school right here on my way to work. And uh, there's a lot of people lined up to see it to get torn down with their iPhones and whatnot. There's literally like 30 white people. I didn't see any uh, any uh, people of color there. You know, so that tells you how much leisure time they have on their hands right now. Um, that there's about 30 white people in the middle of the day watching a building get demolished. Right, and then like we have all these brown people commuting to these menial, useless jobs that pay us the bare minimum to get by, while the fat cats at the very top, you know, live out their uh, lives in these big old estates on the east side, overviewing the whole city, and uh, with the nice fresh air, with their beautiful little. Um, with their beautiful little, um, how could you say it, uh, video rooms, you know, they have their every, you know, privileged person, I, I guess, rich person, I don't know how you could say it, but uh, everyone I've met, you know, um, has a movie room or like a room dedicated to just watching movies, you know, and uh, I would love to get to that point at some day, you know. Um, you know, <laughs> I, uh, I really, I really don't, you know, I really can't blame them for, for that, but, you know, it's, uh, it just goes to show, you know, the, uh, the, um, imbalances, the, uh, yings and the yangs of, uh, society, you know, the rich, the old money, the, uh, we just need equality of how was that term um equality of inequality you know or something like that um I heard that term but man it's so hot um uh, getting so okay so I guess I was finishing my story so I got called some bullshit so I was telling him about it um you know like wow like so like don't you care about our lives like dude i'm having to go in like i could have been hiking with my homies you know i had a great time it looked like i would have had a great time if i would have gone and i couldn't go why because i had to be on fucking call to be sure that a fucking person is able so i can unmute someone's fucking mic for them you know like fuck like shit like that fucking irritates me it gets on my fucking nerves it's my fucking pet peeve dude and it's like bruh you couldn't fucking do that you couldn't unmute a mic you had to call me on my day off like god damn it holy crap oh you want to race shoddy uh but yeah so i was telling him about it and he was like well i read all sunday I didn't even get called, you know, and he was like, he's like, my thing is, if I'm going to be on the, uh, like, so he was basically explaining to me that if he was going to be hooked to uh, do something, it's going to be all in, like, he's not going to work 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, he's going to work a full eight hours, and since he's being inconvenienced, He's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants, which is read, which is what he said he did most of the day, besides the one or two times that he was asked to support someone uh, before he left for the day, you know? So, uh, he worked a full 12 hours and just read the entire day, you know? He didn't do any work, you know? He didn't pick up on other slack. Um, he just did the on call and read for 12 hours or whatever it was um <laughs> and you know he's one of those guys i don't trust him around my stuff when i'm not there you know he's one of those baby boomers you know who might end up uh doing some really uh ratchet stuff
Oh, it stinks. Oh, God. I know I'm getting close to my work when uh, I start smelling that fishy smell of, uh, of bigotry and scumradry. It's not camaraderie. It's scumradry. Uh, okay, but... Oh, it's gonna be a good day. I just gotta keep telling myself that. Uh, damn, that guy knew what he was doing. I so just saw him walking in with this coke in his hand. Coke in his hand. Well, integration. Guys, I really need some positive changes in my life. Hopefully, I pray to God good changes happen soon. But until then, I do appreciate your support, your uh, listening. You know, if you can subscribe, like, you know, whatever you can do, comment. You know, let's build a community. Tell me how things things uh, go in your life. You know, ask me for advice. Let's do something. Um, and with that said, I'm at work, uh, so I better get going. You know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Harry, har, har. <sighs> Look at all the golf players. Wow. Anyways, love you guys. Have a great day.